Hakasa has produced a long list of fanless PC cases going back to 2012. Most of these cases have been designed for thin mini ITX motherboards or Intel NUX with CPU TDPs of 35 watts or less. This finally changes with the Maxwell Pro, Akasa's first fanless case designed for desktop grade 65 watt TDP CPUs. Both Intel and AMD CPUs are supported, although there is no space for a graphics card, so make sure that the CPU includes integrated graphics. The Maxwell Pro case is made from black anodized aluminum with silver trim that they call a diamond edge finish. The fanless design is accomplished with four copper heat pipes that transfer heat from a thermal CPU block to the four inch cooling fins that make up the two sides of the case. It is powered by an internal DC to DC ATX power supply and an external AC to DC power brick. The case measures 11.1 inches wide, 8.3 inches deep, and 4.4 inches tall. It weighs about 6.7 pounds when empty. The Maxwell Pro is not yet widely available, but MiniPC.de does have it in stock for about 187 US dollars, including worldwide shipping. This price is lower than its direct competitors, including the HD Plex H1, Streetcom FC8 Alpha, and Tor Metal DP2. The Maxwell Pro is also now available as a custom pre built PC from FullySilentPCs.com. For this test build, I am using the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G processor, ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming ITX motherboard, 32GB of Team Group T Force Vulcan Z 3200MHz DDR4 memory, a 1TB Western Digital Blue SN550 NVMe solid state drive, and a mini box 120W Pico PSU kit. 120 watts is the bare minimum for a build with a 65 watt processor. A 150 watt power supply would do a better job for long term use, but the 120 watt unit was what I had available at the time and it worked well enough. You can skip the next 10 minutes if you want to get right to the test results, conclusions, and final build photos. This is the included thermal paste from Akasa. I realized at this point that it is a very viscous paste and not very easy to spread, so there is more applied here than necessary. It is better to have a little too much than too little though.
Because of the internal power supply, the front I.O. PCBs had to be removed before the motherboard would fit. These I.O. PCBs were able to be replaced after the motherboard was installed. If the DC to DC power supply was any larger though, it simply wouldn't fit.
I do have a few complaints and recommendations for this case. The first is regarding the internal power supply fit. Akasa does offer a power supply that I assume would fit nicely in this case, but it is not included with the case. The Pico PSU that I used just barely fit up against the front USB 3 cables, and I had to remove the front I.O. PCB before I could get it to fit. If Akasa moved all of the front I.O. to the left side of the case, this would not be an issue. Second, the Phillips screws that were used to hold the heat pipe modules to the walls of the case are sized for a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, but most Phillips number 2 screwdrivers would not fit between the cooling fins. Screws made for a Phillips number 1 driver or a hex key would make installation easier. Third, the aluminum CPU block is surely limiting heat transfer from the CPU to the heat pipes. While a copper CPU block would be more expensive, it would increase coolant performance and allow the case to be safely used with somewhat higher powered CPUs. That said, the case passed my thermal stress test with the Ryzen 7 4750G. I ran Prime95's small FFT's torture test for half an hour and used hardware info to track temperature and power use. After half an hour, the CPU's maximum temperature was 87 degrees C after using a constant 78 watts. This was in a cool 18 degrees Celsius room though. If I were in a 25 degree room, the CPU could have easily hit its maximum temperature of 95 degrees. 78 watts is significantly higher than 65 watts though. I would recommend setting power limits to 75 watts or less when possible. If you are curious about the OEM-only Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G's performance, I ran Passmark's performance test as well. The 4750G's CPU specifications are almost identical to the Ryzen 7 3700X, with 8 cores, 16 threads, and 3.6 GHz base clock speeds, but with less level 3 cache than the 3700X. The 3700X is also unlocked for overclocking, while the 4750G is not. The 4750G's average benchmark score is about 8% lower than the 3700X's average score, but 15% higher than the Ryzen 5 3600X's average score. For the integrated GPU, its performance is comparable to the NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030, which is significantly better than Intel's integrated graphics, and can perform well for a light gaming PC. Overall, the Akasa Maxwell Pro's cooling performance is in line with the performance of its direct competition, but its price is a bit lower, so it is a good option for the budget conscious. Although there can be a couple tricky aspects to its installation, the heat pipes were very easy to install, and the case is compatible with almost all mini ITX motherboards. Its appearance is a bit clunky in my opinion, but the brushed finish and silver trim do add some nice detail to the front of the case. Like the video and subscribe for more fanless PC content, and visit FullySilentPCs.com if you are interested in purchasing your own pre-built fanless PC.